Steve Johnson, Carmen Ag Business Management Specialist from Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And I've been conducting Growing On meetings 2014 over the last week in early December of 2013. Again, good crowds despite less than ideal road conditions. And the message has basically been this, with lower crop prices from the 13 crop, we've got to adopt strategies and tools as we likely will not see the types of crop prices that we saw in 2011 and 2012. The likelihood is, is the higher futures prices come in the spring and summer months, not in the fall and winter. In the fall and winter, we usually get better basis opportunities. Basis is cash minus futures. After the December 10th crop production report, as well as the World Agriculture Supply and Demand Estimates, I think we've confirmed that we've got the record U.S. corn crop to be, again, monitored for the January 10th report. We have the third largest soybean crop in history, but the U.S. produces 37% of the world's corn and only 31% of the world's soybeans. The likelihood is, is that corn still is a carry market, but the basis opportunities will occur early. December, perhaps early January, will probably have wider basis as we get later in the winter, especially with the amount of corn that's temporarily stored on the ground. That corn will hurt basis. The basis will likely widen from mid-January till mid-March until that corn's removed. So get ahead of the basis December, early January, or behind that wider basis. That's March, April, May, June. For soybeans, the strategies would be move the U.S. soybean crop. Again, costs will not change significantly in 2014. The opportunity to move bushels, generate cash flow, take crop insurance revenue protection with the TA option, and begin to manage where we have tighter crop margins in 2014. This has been Steve Johnson, Farm and Ag Business Management Specialist, Iowa State University Extension and Outreach.